Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is kind of a quick comparison on why True makes two mid-kick sticks. Um, so for a while, without using them on ice, I was really wondering why True has two sticks. They're both mid-kicks. They sell a hair trigger, a 6.0 hair trigger, um, but and I didn't couldn't really tell the difference between these two in terms of like the idea behind them. Um, in my opinion, like a CCM has a jet speed, which is now like a mid, and a tax, which is also kind of a mid, and Bauer has a Supreme and Nexus. But the Supreme and I found the like tacks are kind of angled at more of like full power shots with a, a kick a little higher or custom kick point. And ever these were both labeled as like mid kick, so I wasn't really sure why True was doing like both of these and if they were really that big of a difference to justify them. So after using them, I can talk about that now. I did a review on both of these, so check that out. It'll be linked in the description and at the end of this video. Um, quick review of both of them just what I liked about them, but this will kind of cover some of that too. I still suggest you go to that because it's more in depth. So first of all, um, the big differences between these two sticks, in my opinion, or the biggest difference is the actual flex rating on them. So I found both of these are monitor TC 285s, as you can see here, I found the XC nine to play like an 85 and the a 6.0 to play like a 75. So it's almost a little fair in that sense to compare them and how they actually shoot because one does play a lot flexier than the other. Um, I didn't just notice that in my shots. The big, the easiest way for me to notice that is when I pass. So when I make hard passes, if they become shots, it's too whippy. If I take hard passes and I can feel the stick bend, it's too whippy. Didn't feel that at all in the XC9. Totally felt that in the A6.0. I really had to adjust my passing for that. Um, so with that said, the other big difference between these two sticks, um, there's about I think there's about 10 or 15 grams difference in weight. Um, the 6.0 does feel a bit lighter, but the balance of them is both very good. So I'm not really worried about that. Um, the grips of them are definitely totally different. So the grip on the A6.0 is kind of, feels more matte to me and it's less grippy. Um, it's, I, it's hard to show on video, but this one kind of feels like a, the old matte grips with a little tiny bit of grip added to it, where this one feels more like a traditional gloss grip like most other stick companies have. Um, where it is a bit more grippy to it, grip or has more grip to it. I'm a, I like the matte one a little bit better. It's all personal preference, so it's not that huge of a deal. Um, the other huge difference is the 6.0 has the BRT blade, so that has their bladed rib uh, technology, which has carbon fiber bra braided ribs, braided ribs throughout the blade to make it stiffer and more pingy. Um, I definitely found that this the X core has the X core. What that is is a plastic insert in the blade itself, and it definitely feels pingier. It's kind of hard for me to do this and showing it without hitting them too and making them flex. But regardless, it's definitely a much softer feeling stick, and you can definitely feel it when uh, stick handling and everything like that. Personally, I like pingy blades. I find they're easier for me to tell where the puck is on the blade. Um, with that said, I find the dampened blades much nicer for passing. So making hard passes and everything's a little bit dampened. Puck doesn't bounce off quite as much. Um, so it's nicer for that sense. So that I love the X-Core for passing where um, the pinier blades are a bit more annoying for that. But for stick handling, I like knowing exactly where the puck is. The pinier it is, the more I find I can feel a feedback. Regardless, both of these sticks are great to use on the ice. They're both very well balanced, but there's definitely a market for both of these and I totally understand it now. Um, I think it's kind of confusing how True has a 6.0 SBP and a hair trigger. I think they should kind of branch off into another line just to kind of have their low kick, mid kick, and then their other mid kick. Um, I think both of these should work pretty good for slap shots. This one didn't for me because it was 10 down and it was just too whippy, uh, but the XC9 absolutely did for me. Um, so there is a bit of a difference between these two without just, hopefully without just reading you some tech or their marketing spiel. Um, this was on ice usage and my actual experiences with them. I always question why like this stick even came out because I figured, well, they already have a mid kick, who cares? It's a very different feeling stick and it plays fairly differently as well. Um, so yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I suggest you check out those full review videos at the end of this video. Um, that's about it for this. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below in the description. And remember, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, and Twitter helps me get gear like this. The more subscribers, more followers I have, the more easy, the easier it is for uh, me to get gear, demo gear, so I can make content on. Um, just get, and as well, if you ever make a purchase because of one of my videos, please reach out to those companies on social media. 
or just through their contact email. Um, so I can get some more gear demo and stuff like that gets me on the radar. So thank you very much for watching and take it easy.